You've invested $18,000 with a yearly 3.4% return. We're interested in two different questions that we can answer from this very basic setup. First, what will be the value of your investment after three years? And second, how long will it take for your investment to reach a value of 25,000? Now, given the information that's provided in the setup to the question, it shouldn't be too difficult to write the exponential equation that models this scenario. Y equals 18,000 times 1.034 to the X, where X is a representation for the number of years and Y is a representation of the amount of money that we will have at the end. If I'm interested in a three year return, that's as simple for me as letting X equal three, 1.034 to the third power. We multiply the initial amount by that factor increase three times, and we get that our amount of money in the account at the end of that three years is $19,899 and 13 cents. For the second question, we're going to answer it in a little bit of a different way depending upon the inform that's dependent upon the information that we're provided with. So in the second question, instead of being given a number of years, we're given a dollar amount that we want to use as our target. And we still don't know the value of x. Now, there are two different ways that we can answer this question. And in, of course, in any circumstance, we hope that the, the two different strategies will give us the same answer. And in this case, they will. So we're going to actually begin by graphing this right-hand side. So over here in our graphing calculator, let's say 18,000 times 1.034 to the power of x. And we're going to graph that function and take a look at it and see if we can identify the location where the value of the account is $25,000. Now, obviously, with the standard window, I'm not going to get anything out of this. This is an 18,000 initial value with an increase of 3%. It's going to go up only up from there. I don't know how long it's going to increase for, so I need to be careful when I set my window. I know that the number of years is going to be positive, so I might as well just say zero. And we'll leave this as a 10 for now. And if it ends up working, it ends up working. And if it doesn't, that's okay too. I know that the money is going to be at least 18,000. So for the sake of seeing this a little bit better, let's set my minimum at 16,000. And my max, I don't know how high I need to make this. I know I need to at least see 25,000. Let's say I'll set it at 30,000. The only thing in here that I'm pretty confident, though the only part of this that I'm not perfectly confident about is this X of 10, this max of 10. I may need to go beyond that time because it might take more than 10 years for me to reach that $25,000 mark. So let's graph this and see what we have so far. Okay, that's not really super interesting because I'm not able to see this axis over here. So we're actually gonna add another graph to this and that graph is gonna be at 25,000. And the hope is, is that we can identify some intersection point between the horizontal line at 25,000 and the exponential function that we've already graphed. And it looks like our intersection point is over here somewhere right before that 10. So as always, we can go into our calc menu and we can choose to identify the intersection of the two curves and we see that our intersection is, the, is at the point 9.82. So we know that it will take about 9.82 years for us to reach $25,000. That's the first strategy that you can use. Let's talk about a second strategy that we could use. This equation here at the bottom that I'm looking to solve for X, it has the option of performing an operation before I go to the graphing part. And that operation that I can perform is dividing both sides by 18,000. So I'm gonna divide both of those sides by 18,000. If I divide by both sides by 18,000, I get rid of this and I create a new equation that says 
zero, three, four to the X is equal to the quotient of those two numbers, which is the fraction 25 over 18. Instead of messing around with these very large numbers, I could make it a little bit easier on myself and attempt to graph this version that has significantly smaller numbers in it. So for this exercise, I'm gonna go back to the standard window. So let's press zoom six and let's go back to our standard window. We're gonna get rid of these two functions and we're instead going to graph the much simpler 1.034 to the power of X and the horizontal line at 25 over 18. We already have a suspicion that our solution is going to be found at the point 9.82, at the x value of 9.82. Let's confirm that that's actually the case. We graph both of them. There's the exponential and there's the horizontal line. No, the exponential doesn't look like that much like an exponential because it's a really small rate of growth. But we can second calc and look for the intersect of the two lines one more time, and we get that exact same x value at 9.82. So whether you want to do it with the 25,000 that was already there or whether you want to divide by the 18,000 and work with this smaller version, they will both give you the same answer.